The Spitfire LF Mark IX is a premium tier 4, 5.3 multinational fighter. The reason I say multinational is because it is a British plane, available in both the American and Russian tech trees, and it is A being flown by a Canadian in game, and B the skin I'm using has a Canadian roundel on it. It doesn't matter too much which version of the LF Mark IX you're flying, because they all play the same and face virtually the same enemies. There is a slight difference between the Russian Spitfire and the rest. The Russian one does not come with 150 octane fuel, meaning it will perform worse overall to the Spitfires that the Western nations have. While the difference isn't too bad, it is still noticeable. Without 150 octane fuel, you will be 30 km per hour slower, you will climb 5.2 meters per second slower, and you will turn slightly worse as well. Regardless, let's get into the review. The LF Mark IX is a very unique plane to fly. At its heart it is a turned fighter, but it can outclimb basically anything it faces. Because of this, the Spitfire is decent at energy fighting. You won't be out diving dedicated energy fighters, but you can use your altitude to your advantage. I'd advise heavily against using the Spitfire purely as an energy fighter, but the opportunity still exists. The reason I say this is, because the Spitfire does not have the airframe of an energy fighter, and isn't suited for it. It will overspeed at around 850 km per hour, and it will rip its wings at 11 Gs. Now that you know the ins and outs of the Spitfire, let's get into a game. In the loadout screen, make sure to load air target belts for your 20 mils, tracers for your 7.7s, as well as 20 minutes of fuel. I generally don't recommend 30 minutes of fuel, especially for allied teams, because of how autistic they can be. Allied teams are like Christmas. You never know what you're going to fucking get. Once you spawn in, start climbing at 20 degrees. I normally side climb out of habit, but you can climb straight towards the enemy team and still be above them. Be careful with your wet though, because the melon engine likes to get hot very fast. Seriously. The water cooling in this thing heats up faster than a kettle. Perfect 40. Once you start seeing enemies, start picking out targets that present themselves to you. Don't choose targets that are over 3 kilometers below you, because that is going to a uh, waste your altitude and b probably result in you ripping your wings. If you fuck up your approach, just pitch up and wait to re-engage. For your crew skills, start off by focusing on g-tolerance and stamina. After that, focus on keen vision and awareness. When you're done with those two, go for vitality, as well as ground service shit, to make your guns more accurate. Now you're all ready to play the Spacefire. Bruce and T, Angus and children. Honestly think you're fucking funny. Why are you so angry? Every single person who watches your videos are fucking stupid.